In France, different perimeters or zones are defined to avoid pollution and to protect. Firstly, groundwater catchments like boreholes in water tables, and secondly, surface water catchments like water intakes on rivers. Let's look at the first case. Water abstracted from the water table comes from water that seeps into the hydrographic basin associated with that water table. When surface water is polluted, at some stage this pollution will reach the underground water table. A long-standing measure related to the public health code is applied to limit point source and accidental pollution. This is the water protection zone, which defines three distinct zones. The immediate protection zone, the close protection zone, and the remote protection zone. These three zones limit the risk of pollution related to a traffic accident, for example, and or involuntary spilling of polluting substances. In most cases, except for exemptions or derogations, immediate protection zones are fenced off areas and come under public authority. All activities are prohibited apart from those related to using and maintaining the water abstraction device and the perimeter itself. If there is no immediate protection zone, a petrol spill following a traffic accident involving two vehicles is likely to quickly reach the water table. Other regulations exist that are related to closed and remote protection zones. Point source pollution is not the only type of pollution that affects catchment water. Diffuse pollution designates pollution from a multitude of sources dispersed in space and time and difficult to identify. Since late 2006 and the Water and Aquatic Environment Act, the Wall Catchment Area, or WCA, defines the zone likely to provoke water pollution in the shorter or longer term. Within this zone, any drop of water that falls on the ground is likely to reach the drinking water catchment, either by infiltration or runoff. This zone therefore aims to limit some types of agricultural or urban pollution by keeping them away from the place where the water is withdrawn. Example, when a farmer uses pesticides, there is contaminating surface and groundwaters, and therefore the water catchment itself. To reduce this risk, the WCA designates the wall area where the use of this kind of product threatens water quality. It is interesting to note that WCAs comprise some zones that are not concerned by activities that can cause water pollution. Thus, WCA protection zones define a subset of a WCA related to setting up a program of action. These zones are mainly delimited according to the hydrogeological context and the activities observed there. The focus action that potentially acts the most effectively on water quality such as planting hedges to limit the transfer of pollution in strategic zones. In conclusion, drinking water catchments are protected by establishing perimeters or zones to make it easier to combat and stop point source and accidental pollution.